Hello, good morning, happy Monday. It is a great day to be alive. I had the most amazing meditation last night. Um, I did do a quick post just to keep the energy in escrow for me so I can come back and tune into it um, this morning. So happy Monday, everyone. And thanks for everyone that came and saw me yesterday um, down at the book launch for Mel's new book, um, A Witch Forgotten. I've, I've I've forgotten which, let me have a look at it. A witch forgotten. <laughs> I have a copy here um, that I am going to be giving away this week, so stay tuned to that. But anyway, I'm going to get into the message because it's so freaking awesome. Okay, so to start off this Monday, I am going to give you all a motto to help your energy move forward this week. So the motto or the um, self-script or the affirmation that I would really, really encourage you all to uh, write down, recite, say it over and over and over as many times as you can, is I am happy where I am and I am eager for more and life just keeps getting better and better and better for me because I'm telling you, if my little flowing juices um, and my insight is correct, a lot of you, a lot of you, hopefully the majority of you, are going to have a breakthrough. You've got a breakthrough coming. I have been predicting this to come in in the second half of June anyway, the last two weeks of June. So it's kind of like no surprise to me, but um, that's the great thing about being an intuitive light worker. Um, when you predict it, and then when you actually start feeling it in your clear sentience and, and embody it in your own life, you know it to be true. So um, if you are a light worker, you may know what, what I'm talking about and this may, may make no sense to you, but or it's just relatable. But for those who don't know, you have a breakthrough coming. You have a breakthrough. A lot of you have been feeling residual nuggets of this. And that's why over the course of maybe the last, you know, month or two, you've been feeling a little bit restless. You know, you've got to make some hard choice decisions, but you don't know what's right for you. And it's been kind of difficult to release things because you've got a fear of missing out or you've got a fear of making the wrong choice or anything like that. Um, it's all coming down to this moment. That's honestly how I feel. So I'm going to get my handy dandy notebook because <laughs> I have to write this shit down. Otherwise it just flows out of me like lava. But I did pull some Earth Warrior cards before I jumped on just to save a bit of time. And I might pull some cards as well because whatever's coming in, man, it is a breakthrough for you. It is a breakthrough for you. So the main thing to do in the physical world right now is to try to regulate your emotions the best way that you can. So we live in the real world and sometimes you have experiences that are going to trigger you or maybe even excite you. They're gonna give you a certain emotion. The trick at the moment is to not let it get too far away on you. So it's really important that you take the time and find ways to self-soothe and regulate your emotions. I'm in the position where I am so super excited, three through three, getting all the double digits and all that this morning as well. Um, I'm I'm actually really excited because I can feel this energy coming in. But even myself, my energy is moving faster and a little bit too advanced, like to the point that I just stopped at the shops early this morning. I nearly ran into a truck because I didn't even. I was going so fast and the truck had stopped to turn right and ran into it. But anyway, um, and I, I, in that moment, I sort of went, no, no, no. I Like, I know you know it's coming down, but just just slow the pace down, slow the pace down. So, But you could be on the other end of the spectrum as well, where you are feeling a bit bruised and beat up and a bit discontent and all that sort of stuff. So um, what you can do, no matter which end of the scale that you're on, is to find some way, in a healthy way, to regulate your emotions. So... Um, you do that with that as you wish, but they, I was doing a meditation last night and I literally heard the word, um, it's going to be the ultimate game changer. And this has to do with an incoming breakthrough that a lot of you are going to experience. So yeah, um, some of, uh, I, I'll just read it how I wrote it because 
but I feel like it's not going to make sense, but I'll just purge it. <laughs> so I wrote down the alter, um, one of the week. I'm happy where I am and I'm eager for more. And life just keeps getting better and better and better for me because it really is. Regulate your emotions. Um, the ultimate game changer, there's an incoming breakthrough. Um, if you are losing, if you losing, there's no, never any loss. It's only release and replace. But anyway, if you are losing or separating from anyone or anything right now, that's because those people or those things in your current reality actually do not wish or have a desire to see you do well or succeed in your life. So that goes back to the energies that I was tapping into maybe last week or the week before. Once again, I'm a channel, I don't fucking remember not. <laughs> um, but I did mention about try not, try not to feather other people's nests right now and try not to allow external people, places, things, environments, anything like that, even your own thoughts, hold you back from this breakthrough because you are about to succeed somewhere. You are about to have a major breakthrough. It's going to come in various forms for a lot of you. But if you have, yeah, like I say, people or things or situations happening at the moment and you know it's not conducive for where you're going because you're going through a soul ascension, you're going through a rebirth, if you're struggling to release um, the death of the old, pretty much, you need to know that those external parties, if you can call them that, are actually doing you a disservice. So, you know, maybe they don't want you to leave them because then they'll have nothing or uh, maybe they don't want you to leave that job because they know they, they won't replace you, but in, in the same token, you know you're worth and you know you deserve to be paid more. It's going to be that kind of thing. So apply it to your life, however it is. So there's actually no loss or lack of scarcity that is attached to what I'm feeling. What I'm feeling is that you want to be surrounded by fellow cheerleaders. You want to be surrounded by people who actually have your highest good. Being part of Mel's event at that um, at the book launch yesterday, that was amazing. The, the the level of support, I even said to her, like the support you have is absolutely amazing. I hope you <laughs> realize that. But um, it was really, really nice to see so many genuine energies congregated in one space to cheer Mel on because, you know, her book is eight years in the making. It wasn't something she just did overnight and she did a lot of processes to get that going. So if you've got something that you wish to get off the ground right now, a change or a shift, or um, you just want to move forward in generally and start having a little bit more frisky fun, if you checked out last night after the meditation, Spirit reminded me to get into the feeling of it, so I made a made a um, short, and I think I posted a reel on that, about tapping into the feeling of it. Um, listen to upbeat, high-vibe music. Listen to upbeat, high-vibe podcasts. Do what you can right now, because this breakthrough, or this game changer, is on its friggin' way to you, I'm telling you. Ultimate game changer. It's going to change your life for the better, hopefully. Um... So what else is there? Some of you who do the energy work are getting to the core of the truth. So over the course from this moment forth, and you've all got your own timelines, but from this moment forth, you are actually getting to the core to your truth. And, and it's your truth. You may be seeing the truth of the matter. Who's supporting you? Who's not? What's working? What's not? What's for your high school? What's not? Um, what's serving you, what's not. You guys may be still sifting and sorting. I just put out, I have some of these vouchers that I printed out for people yesterday. If you do want to have a session with me, this is only valid for the month of June because of the shift coming in. You can have a session with me, a phone session, phone session only, not FaceTime, not Zoom, nothing else. It's a phone session with me for 40 minutes. I can help get you on track. It's only going to be $60. So please contact me. This won't be available on my website. I honoured a certain amount of percentage to this special. Um, if you have already claimed it, and if you have put in an email, then I will get back to you shortly. <laughs> but um, if you do want to know what, what it is for you, please get in contact with me. Take advantage of that really, really good offer. Because like I say, your breakthrough is, is imminent. It's going to be an ultimate game changer for you. I cannot emphasise that enough. Um, but now's the important time to stand in your truth, what you, your beliefs are. 
um, and what you want to come in for you, especially over the course of the next three to six months because we're in karmic reward season and I want to see all of you get your karmic rewards. Um, um, so, yeah, then they said a person, an opportunity. I, I they, Slow it down. An, a person, an opportunity, an idea or an event will completely change the way a certain situation will develop in your life. That will be the breakthrough. That's what they made me say. So a person, so maybe a person, it may be an opportunity, it may be just an idea, it may be a lifestyle change even, they just made me say that, or a, an event um, will completely change the way a certain situation will develop in your life. That will be your breakthrough. So I would really encourage you all to sort of step outside your comfort zone, take a leap of faith, get out there, maybe be a little bit more social, start projecting your ideas, start telling the story of those things that you want and who you want them with and what it looks like to you and all that sort of stuff because it's going to be really, really, really important for this, for this game-changing breakthrough that's just about to come in for you. Spirit also said to um, stay grown, so 11-11 on the timer, Please use your maturity. Don't stoop to levels where people, yeah, don't stoop to any level. Stay positive, stay grown. They want you to stay classy as well. So stay classy in everything that you do and remain optimistic. So optimism is going to be your best friend. I haven't read these cards, but for a quick recap, your motto for the week, something that you can just bring yourself back to your now because now is all you have is to A, obviously try and do your best to look around at the things that actually do make you happy and listen and with your physical senses, embrace those things that actually bring happiness and joy to your life because that's gonna breed more and more of the same. I'm happy where I am, I'm eager for more. It just keeps getting better and better and better, 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 better for me. The ultimate game changer, there's an incoming breakthrough. If you're losing or separating from anyone or anything right now, there is no loss, there is no lack, it is going to be replaced. But that's because those people, those things, or those environments around you actually do not wish or have a desire to see you do well or to succeed. They want to basically keep you for themselves and not go with that expansion. So please don't do that. Um, some of you who do do the energy work are getting to the core of the truth, which is going to be your truth. Um, what means most to you. A person, an opportunity, an idea or an event will completely change the way a certain situation will develop in your life. So that will be the breakthrough for you. So if you have your breakthrough, please come back, let me know. Want to know what it is? So stay grown up, stay mature, stay classy. Don't drop your energy for anybody. Leave them to it if they want to be all trashy and all that sort of stuff, but also remain optimistic. So remain optimistic. I did pull two Earth Warrior cards out. I haven't read them yet. I just basically... They fell out and I shoved them in here to read to you. So the first card we got is number 44. I have to tell, I drove my son to school this morning. We're sitting at the lights. My car had 555 on the rego, um, on the odometer. It had 888 on the bottom. We looked around. There was 22, 55, 33 and all that. So to me, that's a, um, a coming together of in a aligned energy. So if you have been calling out and you really want your tribe or you, you just want to be around people, places, things, and environments that are actually conducive to your well-being, they're coming in. So anyway, just find peace with where you are. So yeah, we got White Buffalo Woman, um, card number 33. So I'm just going to read it from the book because I don't do these intuitively. But White Buffalo Woman says to have hope, for you are pure of heart, and White Buffalo Woman appears as the divine sign of rebirth and harmony. She is the way shower who lives as one with the great spirit. All my light workers out there. She teaches the practices that will free and empower us all. Maybe these are just meant for me. <laughs> but like a track's like, take it, take it. Um, she teaches the practices that will free and empower us all. She heralds the birth of the divine upon a new earth. You are held in her heart and you will be recognized by... Uh, sorry. You are held in her heart and you will recognize her beautiful grace of spirit in your own. So remember, like attracts like at the moment, 1444 on the camera. 
like attracts like. If you're seeing aspects of other people, environments or anything that you don't like, rather than project and blame all them for that, you are looking at a mirror image of yourself. And that's not to say that you're a shitty, crappy, bad person that should live in regret and remorse and all that sort of stuff. It's just evidence of that old version of you. You are giving birth to a new version of you right now. We are about to have a breakthrough. You are about to step into this new timeline, which is this new version of you. It's going to come in the form of a physical um, breakthrough in the material world. It's going to be an ultimate game changer for you, but you've got to be a willing participant in this. Um, and yeah, try to see the beauty in everything. Um, yeah, um, you're basically going to be rewarded also for your passion and your perseverance. So I've been bantering on all week and through all my lives and all my videos and all that about as individuals tapping into those things that actually uh, make you feel passionate. You've got to feel passionate first, have a passion for life. Aren't you surrounded yourself with those who are just as passionate, 1555 on the camera, and all that sort of stuff because you have persevered up until now. What doesn't kill you only makes you stronger and um, it's going to pay off in you. You're just about to have your breakthrough. I'm going to pull some cards in a sec, but anyway. Um, the other card we got was number six, which is Medicine of the Butterfly, um, Palhic Manor. So absolutely gorgeous cards. Might get one of these as a tattoo. But anyway, um, so on the wings of hope, Butterfly Kashina guides you through an ending to the light of new life within. What I just say? Going to have your breakthrough. It's going to be an internal. It's going to be your truth. It is your transition into a happier time. I am happy where I am and I am eager for more. There's going to be an increase of pleasure and delight. Especially if you have experienced great struggle or loss. The spirit medicine of butterfly brings hopeful promise to your heart. Here is your sign that there will be happiness, peace and light. Trust in the goodness that's being birthed right now. You can't make this shit up, hey? Look at my voice. I hope if you could feel the energy that I feel right now. Holy moly. Holy moly, spirit. Which, which deck should I just quickly grab some cards from? Let's do... Let's do these ones first. I, I tell me, please tell me if you're passion. Um, they, I, sorry, I just said, did you say passion? And they said, no. What's your patterns? What's your patterns? So, um, anyway, I hope you're feeling it too. Please tell me in the comments below if you're feeling it too. And and just persevere, show patience, practice optimism, and fill every moment of your day with something that's joyous, something that's blissful. Whether that's a more blissful thought, whether that's a um, a more blissful practice. It's coming. It's coming. Spirit, give me some of these. What do we got? Golden Keys of Gaia. Give me some of these. And then I just heard that song, go ahead and jump, jump. Jump, jump. Look. Freedom and growth jumped out. Freedom and growth. Are you going to take the leap of faith and jump into the unknown, but do so from a willing um, liberated, more re regulated version of yourself, a more optimistic version. I'm happy where I am and I'm eager for more. I don't have to have it all worked out right now. I know what I want wants me to. The universe is unlimited. I can be, do, have whatever I set my mind to. Life is great. I'm growing. I'm expanding. I'm fulfilling all of my desires. All my needs are going to be met. When my needs are met, maybe I'll even get something that I want. How juicy is that? That could be the breakthrough that's coming in for you. Don't have to have it all figured out right now. I think that's going to be a big affirmation for a lot of you as well because you're trying to logically try to figure shit out. Um, it's, now's not a time for it. Now's to regulate your emotion and talk this into being because it's coming in for you. Freedom. Don't be so hard on yourself. Free yourself from judgment and expectation, whether they are yours or of others. Like I said, I would disregard and ignore people around you right now because you want to be a taste of this freedom. You want to experience this growth. Invest in yourself and make necessary changes within your external environment to help you grow. A lot of you still hanging on to driftwood. A lot of you are expecting the people, places, things around you to change to benefit you, to make you feel better. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. You're wasting your time. You're wasting your precious energy. It's only going to get you feeling shittier and shittier because they're not 
doing what you want them to do and vice versa. Some people are going to get shitty around you because you're not behaving or acting or responding or even reacting in a way that is conducive for them. This is, this is the, the kind of energetic turmoil, but you've got to remember, this is your life, man. This is your journey. This is your energy. These are your thoughts. These are your beliefs. There's no time for regret. There's no time for pinching yourself off from the supply. There's no time for any of that right now. You are about to have a game-changing breakthrough come in for you. It's going to take courage. It's going to take courage, whatever. You, it's, you've got to step into divine love. You know, that divine love that you have within yourself and know that you are perfect just the way you are. But you're always going to be a work in progress. No one's ever perfect. There are going to be times that, you know, you just want to stay in bed all day and just not go anywhere and all that sort of stuff. But that's where the regulating of your emotions, if you don't know how to regulate your emotions, head over to Dr. Nicole Lepera, the holistic psychologist. She gives so much information for free about that. Um, go see a psychologist or psychiatrist if that's something that you need um, more of. Then we got 44, altar of the heart. You are the altar. Adorn yourself in jewels and prayers and take part in self-care practices. Now is not a time to make sure that every, everything external to you is happy. It's time to do the internal work. If those things that are external to you, not making you happy, you've really got to make be courageous and make the hard call and, and step more towards the energy um, of what does actually serve you. So before I go, I will pull some tarot, see if we can get any more on the future of what's coming in. I'm, out, I'm, I'm liking the energy of who cares. I don't even care what it looks like in the physical right now because I love this feeling. <laughs> I love it. Love, 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 love. Gonna have love, 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 love. What is it, spirit? What is it? Let's see what's coming up. Let's see this balance. A lot of you are balancing out your masculine and feminine energies and when you achieve this, it is going to be so phenomenal for you. There's, there's divine unions coming in because I am getting mascul um, masculine, masculines and feminines. Um, what's the word for it? I've got an idea that like, just say two people are rendezvousing on this, um, in this reality. So it can be in, in relationship, it can be in business or work, anywhere, anything that there's a co-creative process um, involved. It's kind of like, it's like yin and yang. One has the passion, one has the stability and the security, um, or vice versa. I noticed this a lot in the little mini readings, because I only did 10-minute readings for people yesterday, but I noticed this come up in repetition a lot, that if you're struggling in any type of co-creative connection that you do have right now, then you need to make a positive choice about that and step toward those that are more in your timeline, Anyway, but there's definitely a um, meeting of the minds, meeting of the minds, awesome communication, balance. Please ground yourselves right now. Tap into, tap into the passionate feelings of what this is, but in a spiritual sense, make sure that you're grounded. Goes back to that regulating your emotion again. Yeah, look, look. I'm going to tell you guys, there is so much abundance that's just about to be had across the planet in the next six months. It's been called for you to em embrace and embody this soul ascension that you've just gone through. Go with your highest knowings here. A lot of intuitive energy here. A lot of intuitive energy. A lot of people did ask me yesterday, where do I start? Where do I start? And obviously in that kind of format, I couldn't go into it. So um, I do have a manifestation program that's going to be launched on the 1st of July. So if you're interested in that, I'm going to be teaching the art of manifestation in my own unique way so if you're someone who doesn't like fluffies and beating around the bush and you want a higher perspective and a higher way of learning how to manifest your own reality from um a girl back um girl next door kind of way um you know i just i can only do it how i do it but if you're interested in that pop down uh, oh yeah i'm interested and i'll i'm gonna start um, putting that out there soon, 24, 24 on the camera. But a lot of you have abundance, abundance. Um, abundance is going to look different because you're all calling out for something different, but you have abundance coming in that's going to top up your cup financially, emotionally, um, maybe passionately. 
it's gonna it's gonna be different for everyone but you have this breakthrough this little um uh, look i'm gonna say it and i'll yeah i'll say it um this incoming breakthrough could be through a positive co-creative partnership with someone else and it's going to add so much value to the lives of each individual but also the co-creative components but together it's actually going to it's it's giving me like kind of power couple type energy so this can be book business in work so you may be lining up with a really good work um, business partner something like this this can be intimate relationships but I see enough value and, um, you know, we can't undervalue support and unconditional and no judgment and stuff like that either. So I, I'm seeing money. I am actually seeing money and financial value, but I'm also seeing the passion, and the drive when it comes to the emotional stuff. But when they're united, it's kind of like a really great idea is going to um, kick off for someone out there or for a couple or for a community. Some of you may be just really seeking your your tribe members, you know, people who actually get you. I know I've been struggling of late to line up with people like minded because I've I've made my ascension. I've gone. I'm in, in my new timeline, and it's. I'm going to be really honest. It's only probably my friend Kim, who's really on that same timeline with me. So um, it can feel really alienating when you're jumping timelines and you you are still having to release um, old people, places, things, and stuff like that from your environment so you can step up into this new timeline and actually enjoy it and bask in it without feeling guilty or apology or regretful or anything of those kind of um, feelings. Um, yeah, see, judgment jumped out. Some of you get out of this self-imposed prison. If you can acknowledge that you're in a self-imposed prison, this can be limiting thoughts, limiting beliefs, or the fact that you're too scared to move into this new timeline because if you release this person, that and that and that, um, it's quite like releasing codependency. If you're struggling to release any form of codependency, whether this is on substances, people, places, things, environments, or whatever, if you're holding on to much of the old, that's gonna be your new reality. So ask yourself the hard questions. Do I wanna stay there where there's no passion? There's no passion. I, I get treated like a doormat. Everything around me is lack and scarcity. I'm not receiving what I need. Please do the do this self care work for it because on a psychic level you have opportunities that are, are going to give you this potential breakthrough. Honestly, it's going to be the ultimate game changer for you. You have to make choices. No one can influence your own free will. You've got to make this choice on your own. But we are heading into a time where we're going to receive some type of abundance, some type of abundance, and then when we get to share it, pay off debts, pay off bills. Get into a really sexy communicate. Mm, yeah, um, ten of cups energy here. So this can be commitment as well. Really, really awesome relationships. Some of you may even start traveling or move into a new area of some sort. Please don't fall for illusions. You know, actions and words, actions and words need to match up. So you've got to speak the words, but actually put action behind it now. If you're only doing one or the other. You could sabotage this new shift that's coming in for you. So trust your intuition. We've got two intuition cards here with the High Priestess and the Moon. Your intuition is calling you to make the right choices. Use your free will. Remember, you're a sovereign being. You can be, do, have whatever you set your mind to. Regulate your 3D emotion the best that you can. You've got 17 seconds to um, change your thought. And then we've got the Star card here. So the Star, to me, rep represents you being validated it's not an ego stroking. Um, if you're egotistical, you'll perceive it that way. But in the spiritual world, this is being validated. This is being recognized. This is um, being seen for your worth. This is because you chose to get into a happy place. You chose to really, really think and believe that you are really, really happy where you are and that you're so eager for more and that it just keeps getting better and better and better for you. And you are seeing physical evidence of it. So please, whatever you do, do not sabotage the physical evidence. Do not attach to it either. That's the number one thing because you don't want to become codependent on anything. You want to become whole and as strong as you can in yourself and then attract and manifest. Um the exact same energy and vibrations in your life because it's coming in. It's coming in. So I hope that helps some of you. I feel like I waffled on. Let's just close it off and they're all mixed up because 
It was so cute yesterday because all the little all the little kitties were playing with all my cards and <laughs> stuff like that. I haven't had a chance to clean them all out. So um, it was so great to be around the young ones yesterday with all that energy. It's just so magical. Um, yeah. Hang on. Okay, I'll just pull some prayer cards just to close it off. So I hope that all made sense. I hope I didn't talk too fast. But this is energy is picking up. The veil is really, really thin right now. And... Um, There's going to be something happening in the air. All right, spirit. Let's let's close it off with some angel and fairies. Let's just bring us down to earth. Let's just ground ourselves a little bit here. You're going to be recognised, guys. I'm telling you. Yeah. Look at that. Your desires within reach. That first thing that you think of, that you feel and believe that you need. If you're in vibrational harmony with it, it's you're just about to receive it. You just better receive it. I said about going on a holiday and holiday jumped out in the fairies as well. I also got marriage. So if you are after a, um, a high level of commitment um, or a, um, a connection in any way, then um, that's, that's possible for you as well. But at the end of the day, it's going to take you to be more assertive in your life, to stop settling for sloppy seconds, to stop... Um, being tried with the elusive energy don't be sold a dream only to be delivered a nightmare come back to your now regulate your emotions you are going to be seen you're going to be validated you're going to be recognized in some particular way someone's going to see your worth and your value whether it's in relationship whether it's in work whether no matter where it is um you need to stand up for what you believe in right now so only say yes only say yes to what you really want to some of you uh, may have seen my thing the other day. I literally come back to my soul, my core truth, and if it's not a fuck yes, it's a fuck no. And I know a lot of people are threatened by that because it's very black and white, but hey, if I've only got 30 more years, 40 years, 50 years left on this planet in this journey, um, I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to fill it with yes things, especially those who have come out of bad childhoods or have gone through any type of trauma or basically have been in the struggle street. You know, homie ain't got time for that. Homie ain't got time for that. So find peace with where you are. Regulate your emotion. Um, be a bit more personally disciplined. Love yourself a little bit more. Stop settling. You don't have to settle. You've got a breakthrough coming. Absolute game changer. Absolute game changer. Stay, stay grown. Stay mature. Stay classy. And remain optimistic, you guys, because... Coming in. Anyway, I'll pop it enough. I love this for you. Um, if you have any questions, and once again, if you want to book in for my $60, 40-minute session by phone. Um, if you're overseas, we can do it by um, audio. Um, please get in touch with me. But if not, I'm going. I'm going. I feel like I've got so much fun stuff to do. Where do I start? Okay. I hope you have a great week, you guys. I'll be back on sometime. Um, yeah. I'll see you soon. Bye.